Hello guys, in this video we'll connect and interact with ScyllaDB in Rust. So ScyllaDB is a NoSQL database. It's designed to provide high performance, low latency and scalability, making it suitable for handling large volume of data and high throughput applications. So in the future videos, I do plan to use ScyllaDB in projects uh, on my YouTube channel. So I thought better to create an introductory video with ScyllaDB where we connect and interact to ScyllaDB before we start using it into the projects. So let's begin. So open the project explorer and make sure you are in a nice and clean directory and add the docker compose yaml file. Now as you guys know the rule of thumb on my youtube channel we don't do any kind of installations or complex setups we just spin up the docker instance of ScyllaDB and connect and interact with it. So first of all we'll add the version number as let's say 3.8 and services We'll just spin up the single instance so image scylla db scylla latest and ports will bind the default 9042 to 9042 and then we'll pass a couple of environment variables which is scylla cluster name so right now our cluster will just have a single node but if you plan to spin up multiple containers then you can use the same cluster name and cluster and scylla seed so this is to determine the seed node of the cluster so i'm saying the seed node of the cluster is scylla the, the node itself and then we'll pass a command uh, where we'll just say SMP, I'll explain in a minute. Memory as 750 and our provisioned as one. Uh, this should be provisioned. The first parameter SMP1 sets the number of cores ScyllaDB will use. In this case, we set it to one. So only one core will be utilized by ScyllaDB. The second parameter memory 750 megabytes means scylla db is allocated 750 megabytes of ram and the last parameter over provisioned as one helps scylla db optimize its performance and resource usage basically signaling that it is running in a virtual or containerized environment so we have our docker compose ready just open your terminal and do docker compose up minus d for detached and then we'll just do docker ps as you can see it's up and running so just clear it close it and let's move to the rust part so first of all let's add the dependencies move to cargo terminal file here we'll add uid because we'll be consuming uids in our model features as v4 and then we need tokyo for async programming with version as latest and features as full and then we need scylla with latest version and then we'll build our dependencies so once our dependencies are added move to the project explorer go to src and add a db.rs a model.rs and a result.rs first of all we'll move to result.rs so here we'll add a type to basically simplify our error handling so pub type result whatever we pass it will be of result result t or box of dynamic std error and error that's all we need for our type now we'll move to model rs where we'll add our model so the model we'll be using today is book so pub struct book and pub id uid pub name as string pub description as string and pub price as f64 and pub quantity as i32 and then we'll attach some attributes or macro whatever you want to call it debug from row value list and serialize row 
and then to select our data by id we'll add another model so pubstruct select book and here we'll just add serialize row ids uid now let's move to dbrs where we'll first of all add queries to create our key space and table and then add and select the data so let's start with create session and create session and we'll pass the uri result of session and let's add the result create so session builder new and non node uri build await and map error now let's add a query to create a key space so what's a key space a key space is basically a top level object or a namespace you can say for the collection of tables so we'll just say static create key space query and str r and use multi line so here we'll just say create key space if not exits and let's name it as books db with replication and since we have a single node so we'll just say the replication class as simple strategy and replication factor as one since we are just running a single node So this will help us create the key space now similarly let's write a query to create the books table so static create book table query again and str and r so let's write our query and create table if not access books db dot books and right here we'll just say id as uid name as text this is the same model that we added in our model rs description as text price as double Make sure the types you are using here should match the types you have in your model. So double and then we have quantity as int and primary key I would set to id. So this is our create table query. Similarly, let's add the query for add book and select book. So static add book query and str again r hash and we'll just say insert into books db dot books id name description price and quantity so we'll set the values as question mark question mark just the placeholders and similarly the last query that we have is static select book query and str r hash and select star from 
books db dot books where id as placeholder now let's use all of them so first of all we'll add uh, initialize pub async fn initialize which takes the session and return a result of unit this is the same result type that we added this type so we'll call create key space let's build the create key space first so async and create key space pass the session and session result of unit session query create key space query that we have we'll use it we'll use as empty or unit await map unit map error as from from so we have our create key space query just a single mistake let's just do map and similarly let's add the create books table async fn create books table session again session result of unit session dot query create book table and we'll use as unit await map and map error again from from to map the error so we have create table as well now let's complete the initialize method so we'll just do create key space, pass the session, and await for the result. Then create books table, pass the session, await, and finally, OK of unit in the result. So we have initialized, we have create books table, and we have create key space. Now let's use add query and select query. So let's add the functions. So let's add add book. So pop async f and add book session and session book again result of unit session query and pass add book query with the book await map and map error so map error from from we have add book now let's finally add select book so pop async and select book again pass session session and then we'll pass select book now result of vector of book because the query returns rows instead of row so we have to use vector session dot query and again select book query and pass select book then we'll await and use rows so unwrap or default into typed and book should be of book type and v v dot map error from from collect so we have our select book we have our add book initialize we have create books table create key space and all of our queries now let's move to man rs where we will consume our queries and let's see how it works so first of all let's use create result result and async tokyo man and then we will return result of unit 
add that URI. So since for me it's running on localhost, we'll just do localhost 9042 as the URI. Let session db create session pass the URI await and initialize session and await so this will create the key space and the table for us here we can print connected and let key as uid uid new v4 and we'll just add a book so book and id key dot clone then you can add any of your favorite book i'll just add ds and algo uh, description as string from the book that can make you cry and similarly price as i don't know very high price quantity as 10 let's say and add book will pass session book await unwrap similarly let's select select book and id as key and then we'll just use the result by calling select book pass the session and select and await unwrap so finally we'll print our result saying result and returning ok of unit that's all that we need today and it's pretty much ready let's go ahead and test it so make sure your docker instance is up and running and open your terminal and just do cargo run quite okay there you go we get the connected printed and then we get the result which is perfectly inserted dsl go the book that can make you cry that's it for this video guys i hope you guys understand and learn something new if you are getting or running into any problems or any issues while connecting and interacting with scylla db you can drop in comments i'll be happy to help i'll catch you guys in the next video thank you bye bye